Top of the afternoon to you boys and girls. We're going to do a little air cleaner testing today. We have a 661. It's sporting the Maxi, I call it, or Max Flow, if you want to call it a whole shot system. That means you're dating yourself with that. That's what the old timers called them anyway. Um, definitely an improvement over the stock HD system, which flows about 77 cubic feet, uh, whereas the Max Flow, uh, it's good for about 135. And we're going to be testing it against a K&N. We're going to be using a velocity stack um, with the K&N. Uh, Husqvarna's years and years ago, if you wanted to run an AM kind of a system, you had to go with more of what we see here. People ran green weenies on the 660s, 046s, whatever. They were using a velocity stack as well. The problem with that is the carburetor's wide open, doesn't work in a rainy application. These things get thrashed in brush holes. Um, the Max Flow system is much better in that regard. You can work in the wind and the rain, it doesn't matter. You can work in a brush hole like as worst you've ever seen, doesn't really matter it'll be kind of a little bit of a problem at times you can see this one here has suffered accordingly so but we're going to swap it out we'll make a cut down a cut up the second run with this air cleaner is going to be worse um because we're getting further into the knot uh you can see pretty good size it's uh three by two at this point and then there's a knot down there on the about 430 or so you can see um, so my lovely bride's going to help with the tack, so I'm thankful on that front. I don't know. We're going to check the tack and see where we are a little bit in this process as well. So here we go. Okay, so we saw we were able to stop the chain right in the middle of that knot. So we know that the wood's not wimpy by any stretch of the imagination. Here, can you hold that please? Thank you. So my interpretation of how this operation should work from the stock setup, the quarter twist or whatever is the old style, made it so it doesn't fall out of there as well, um, seems to hold the filter on pretty good.
you put that back in there, please? Thank you. Okay, so 
RPM change was just a slight variance at the upper RPM limit or wide open throttle if you will high idle if you're a knuckle slash gearhead like myself and everybody like looks like they opened the gate everybody's going by for lunch looks like to me anyway so <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at the time runs myself to see um, I'm thinking that it felt a little better, uh, the uh, low-end grunt with the K&N on there. It's much more open. Um, you have to be much more careful. However, like I mentioned already, if you're in a serious brush hole, which sometimes out on the coast, that's the way it works out for you. Um, if you're working inland where there isn't much brush, uh, that's a pretty good operation right there. My best guess estimate is it's going to run a little bit quicker in this configuration, but like I said, the Maxi is kind of a hard system to beat for overall performance working in every application. This is not a work in a monsoon type of situation. You'll have problems. That's just the way it goes. You'll be sucking all kinds of water down that operation. So anyway, thanks to my lovely bride for helping out with the tack. Forgot to mention still 32 inch lightweight bar with a actual semi-skip steel chain on there and we did swap out all the Mtronic componentry this is one variation it's not the standard um, 661 componentry this has an unlimited coil carburetor is fully adjustable and yeah just kind of checking it out so anyway thanks for watching this session have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth